Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and this is the EMS Katowice 2014 Legends Capsule. This is a nine-year-old, obviously 2014 to 2023, a nine-year-old item in CSGO. It's very old, and it is very, very rare. You can see on the screen right here, reference price of $19,906, uh, obviously depending on what day you check or what third-party website or whatever you check, the prices might be a little bit different, but it's about a ballpark $20,000 cap. Uh, inside this capsule, you have a chance to get different stickers from the Katowice 2014 collection. Here is uh, the possibilities of all the different stuff you can get. Uh, there's one exotic, one pink. Uh, this is the ESL skull foil. Uh, you have a chance to get the 2014 Katowice Titan Hollow, which is, again, ballpark estimate of around 70 thousand dollars right now i think you have about a two percent chance of getting that one from the sticker capsule uh and then you have the chance to get you know some other uh Katowice, uh hollows and then you have a chance to get some papers now uh, again this thing costs twenty thousand dollars so looking at the price of a lot of these different things you really only have three ways to profit uh, even a little bit. And again, these prices are going to change all the time, so it could be different. Obviously, if you pull the Titan Hollow, you're turning 20K into about 70K. Uh, you also have the LDLC.com Hollow, which is around 23,000 right now. Again, the sites are going to vary. Sites are going to be different. And then you also have this Dignitas Hollow, which this site says 27,000. If you check different places, it'll be 20, 23, 25, 27, whatever. Uh, but we'll call the Dignitas Hollow at least close enough to profitable. Um, but every other sticker you get you're going to lose. And on some of these, you're going to take a very, very big L. You can see the ESL skull foil, uh, even though it's the hardest to pull from this pack, even though it's the rarest, it's the pink, $551. You could turn 20K into $551 with the click of a mouse. Uh, you have some other ones down here, you know, a lot of 400, 400, 400, 1100, 400, 700, 1800. A lot of these are just not very good. But uh, obviously this thing, uh, like I said, it's very old. It's very rare. It's an awesome collector's item. And it's the way that you get some new Titan Hollows, these new $70,000 drops. Uh, and I think for to get a purple from a pack, you know, one of these hollows, I think, um, I'm not exactly sure, but from what I found kind of Googling real quick, I think you have about a 15% chance, uh, to get a purple and there's eight purples. So I think you have about a 2% chance of getting each one. So you have about overall a 6% chance to profit when you open up this capsule. Now, um, obviously that is not to say anything about the ROI because obviously if you get the $70,000 sticker, that's a lot different than getting the one for 23,000. So the ROI, you know, is, is different than, uh, you know, the exact 6%, but again, you have a 6% chance, I, I think, doing some napkin, napkin math um, of profiting from opening this capsule. So it seems a little ridiculous, seems a little bit crazy, but... Thankfully, we have Aero CSGO, a very, very popular uh, CSGO streamer, YouTuber, skin enthusiast, you know, guy who does all this different stuff, friends with Onipixel, uh, all, everything like that. And he tweeted out that he was going to be opening up one of these in 45 minutes. And here's his screenshot, again, of this EMS Katowice 2014 Challengers uh, capsule, or 2014 Legends capsule, all the different options of stuff he can get from it. Uh, and this is going to be crazy because... Yes, a lot of these uh, content creators, you know, they, they make decent amounts of money on Twitch and YouTube and all this stuff. And uh, people who have been in the skin game since 2014, 2015, 2013, whatever in CSGO, they've all been able to make a pretty penny on the price depreciation of the market and all this stuff. But uh, man, dropping that kind of change and clicking a button, uh, in essence, you know, which is gambling. It's no, no more gambling than, you know, open up a booster pack of Pokemon cards or anything like that. Um, obviously, you know, people will a lot of times open like uh, early, like watch. See Pokemon cards and stuff like that that can cost very very expensive amounts of money trying to get these big chase cards you know streamers were doing that on Twitch and stuff before this is the same thing um, but this is digital it's just a little bit crazier to drop this amount of money but uh, Arrow was taking one for the team he was going to open up this $20,000 capsule and see what he could get and here are the results of that we're going to watch this video watch this clip real quick Titan Hollow please $18,000 capsule give me the Titan Hollow it went by it went by please no LGB paper that's worth $400 and yeah, there you have it. That $20,000 was gone in an instant. You know, the click of a mouse, it rotates through. He gets the LGB hollow. He says $400, but then he later goes on to find out this thing is actually worth around $700. You know, he's like, oh, yay, plus $700, whatever. And obviously, it's not that. This is a minus $19,300 or $18,600 or whatever, you know, depending on what price. Obviously, I'm not exactly sure how he got this capsule. I'm not exactly sure how much he purchased it for uh, or whatever. But yes, he opened it up and it is gone. Now, this is uh, another 
another uh, capsule like this that is now off the market. It's gone. It's forever forgotten. That's only going to make the existing ones even more rare, even more expensive, uh, and even crazier. Uh, but hey, there's another LGB paper out there right now. But I thought this was really, really cool. You know, I love uh, seeing these old relics and, and collector's items in CSGO and obviously opening them up, opening them up a $20,000 item. That's always going to be a big deal. It's always going to be a big rush. It's going to get the community talking. Unfortunately, things did not go Arrow's way this time, but I hope that doesn't, uh, you know, take away from the uh, significance of what went down tonight. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, I catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.